Hi YouTube, it's Numistaka here, and uh, every now and again in the coin world, something interesting and exciting comes along. We've had it this week with the Centennial Gold Dime, the Mercury Dime, and that was great. But I wanted to make this video to remind you guys, or just kind of bring to your attention, the Panda Luna series. Started in 2015 with the Panda Goat, and there were two versions of it, the Proof version and the Antique Matte version. Proof version 299, Antique Matte 99 coins, uh, all of that sold out. And uh, I haven't got any of those yet because they are a little expensive at the moment, although if I see one at the right price, I will certainly pick it up. But um, I just wanted to show you a couple of these Panda Lunas that arrived this week. Um, from Singapore and these are the new antique lunars for 2016 which is the panda on one side and the golden monkey the Chinese golden monkey on the other side these are two ounces of silver and they're proof and they come with a COA they are minted by the Shenyang mint which is an official one of the four official Chinese mints so they are recognized by NGC for grading and uh, NGC will grade these and uh, certainly I've had two graded which um, I've got at the end of this video for you to have a look at um, and the, the two that I've graded so far one graded with a 69 one graded with a 70 um, judging from the others that have been graded there are quite a few 70s that have that have been graded so far so the quality of the Shenyang mint in making these coins is actually uh, seems to be a pretty high quality so uh, lots of packaging to get through on these um, these were sent to me by Andy from uh, ChineseMedals.com which is one of the the sources uh, for in the world for these there's a couple of sources um, as well as the main dealers in Chinese medals on eBay. There's um, Barsano, who uh, has got a YouTube account, Sam A, and uh, he can supply these medals in the USA. And his partner Andy supplies these medals in uh, the rest of the world, and Andy's based in Singapore. So um, I've had very good service from Andy because I'm based in the UK. So uh, these were sent over by Singapore Post which seems to be pretty secure and I didn't get charged anything extra from Royal Mail which is always a good thing but I wanted to show you the quality of these medals. Um, I think they are absolutely great and in fact I think in many ways the uh, the antique version of the monkey is actually a little bit better than the antiquing on the goat from the pictures I've seen although I haven't seen one up close uh, because I don't have one of those coins. But I was lucky enough to be able to buy two of these coins in the uh, the pre-order stage. So uh, it's always a good time to buy. When, whenever you see pre-orders for these Chinese medals, uh, if, you do, if you are able to get in right at the beginning, uh, it's always the best time to buy because for anything that is good like these, then they actually sell out of pre-orders pretty pretty quickly um, maybe not quite as quickly as the US mint have sold out of the the gold mercury dimes but it's not far off really I think it took about a week or less for the pre-orders to sell out and uh, there are some available they're already getting to be fairly expensive but they are absolutely great and um, there were 499 of the regular proof silver um, medals for the Panda Luna Monkey and only 99 again of the Antiki versions. So in relative terms the Antiki version for the Monkey series is actually even rarer in percentage terms than the um, than it is relative to the goat if you see what I mean because there were 299 of those to 99 and now there's 499 to 99. So very thin on the ground. I'm going to have the two that I've got graded by NGC, as you would imagine. 
and uh, I don't even I don't know whether I'm going to be selling them at some stage. I think I'm hoping they'll both get really high grades, and I'll keep them. Uh, my plan at the moment is to collect the rest of the series, and each time a new one comes out, looking forward to seeing the rooster. Uh, each time I'll buy a couple of the regular medals and a couple of the antique medals if I can get my hands on them. Um, so, so yeah, I think this is, it's a really interesting medal and my, my bet is that this will increase its mintage slightly as it becomes more successful over the years. So these early ones are likely to be um, in pretty high demand as the series progresses or for anyone who wants to fill in any of the, uh, the back uh, years. Um, let me know what you guys think of this, uh, the Panda Luna. Um, it's generally had very favourable um, kind of reviews and feedback in the forums. And um, seeing these now in person in both the antique and the regular uh, edition, um, I think the production quality is first rate, really first rate. Um, and I wonder whether, you know, I mean, one always is uh, a little bit concerned about spotting and stuff on any silver these days. But these seem to be pretty good, and I'm hoping that they won't um, suffer in that way from spotting. So we're looking now at the the ones I've already had graded. I've had two that I bought. Uh, I bought these ones originally from different Chinese sellers on eBay, um, and I paid around about $190 for the raw coins, and I paid the, the grading fee, which is higher than average because of the, the wider holder for NGC. I was lucky one got a 70 and one got a 69. Um, there are some of the raw coins available on eBay now at around about the $230 mark. And I would say um, buy them because these things are only going to go up in value and you won't probably see them in the future cheaper than the $230 they are now. So uh, there you go. Let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.